Hello, welcome to this video and today we are going to sketch birdie shapes. Birds can be a little bit um, complicated if we are already thinking about all the feathers and beak and how do we get the personality to shine through. But we actually want to start somewhere else and that is with the shape. And it's actually super simple to create the bird shape so I want to show you um, three different ways to, uh, or three different birds, and just show you a super easy way to approach the shape. And uh, just a heads up, if you are watching this, I am just launching my book next uh, week. It's on April 23rd can be purchased through Amazon and uh, I'll put a link here below the video so you can uh, check that out. Mm, ink and wash in the garden that is and that is precisely filled with birds and other winged friends in our garden so you know butterflies and all those small uh, insects and I love it. So that was just a small advertise <laughs> if you are looking to dive more into birds. But today we're going to kind of take the scary out of starting to sketch a bird and just looking at how you can approach the body shape. Today we are going to start with a robin. I'm gonna put a picture up here so you can see it and you can see how this is a pretty small um, birdie with a big round belly and a small head and um, what you want to do when you're approaching a bird like this is use the circle method and start with the body so we have this round body and when we have that we can place everything around it so just a circle and it's a little bit oval uh, when you look at the bird and then you have one more circle and that is the head and the head is actually um, pretty close to the edge of the belly here but a little bit here inside and then we can just put a head on it here uh, also a circle there's not much of a neck here, so almost try to keep the circle inside of that body circle here, and um, that is it. Then you can combine the two with a neck, or a throat, and a neck here behind. And uh, the throat is often curved in, in inwards, and the other one, the neck, is curved outwards. But always look at your reference to figure out which way to to use and then you can add all those features like the beak not that big <laughs> the eye and of course feet and a wing but always start with that first circle um, to kind of give us that idea of of uh, the body shape and of course there's a tail as well I'll put that in so and that should be longer yes so of course this is very very rough and it is a little bit chubby you can always adjust it if you want to um, to kind of tweak it but when you are getting these two circles and the throat and neck it's a lot easier to to place everything else i'll take another one and that is this beauty beauty here i'm not sure which what what bird it is actually but it is really really pretty and colorful and we're going to approach it in the completely the same way even if it is angled uh, to look at the right so you are starting with the body, looking at how you can shape this as a kind of a circle. 
So just doing a, this is more like, like an oval. Um, so we have something like that. And always adjust it while you are working on it. So for example, the chest is actually a little bit wider than the bottom. So you can kind of do that in the making. And here we have a head that is completely on the top, but also facing this way. So again, think of a circle. Let's see, this might be a little bit too small. So I'm just going to do something like that. And again, adding the neck and the throat and then we actually have a wing so the throat goes to the body here and then we have a wing that kind of goes behind the body and in front so that is so much easier to to show when you are actually doing the body shape first so we have a your feet here and one here behind and of course the beak that always shows us the direction of the bird shape but you can see how this really helps us create that shape of the bird That's it. tail that was way ignore that tail um, <laughs> like that Finally, I wanted to show you that you can use this method with a flying bird as well. And since I used up all my space here, uh, we are going to do that. <laughs> so we have a sparrow here that is flying. And again, now there's a lot of wing and uh, stuff that we can kind of get a little bit shaken with. But again, focus on the shape of the body here it's almost like a carrot shape uh, almost like a carrot shape like that could imagine like there was the greens going up here as a carrot and then we have the head and this head is actually um tilt it a little bit so it's looking it's looking to the right like that then we have the throat and the neck again going inwards and outwards a little bit this uh, neck is actually also going a little bit inwards and that's because we're seeing this in flight and um, it is kind of stretching uh, its neck so it becomes a little bit more um, it, it becomes longer like that then of course we have some have the wings and here we can't really think in in circles but we can think in triangles and this triangle here at the top will start here around the neck and end almost at the bottom. We can see that there's this bottom part of the carrot actually has the tail going out here. Um, so a little bit above that we have the wing part. And then you can kind of create your triangle. And instead of a, a right line there, you can just create it, make it curvy, and uh, you got something that will look a bit like your wing. And then, of course, you can adjust it so it becomes more um, to your liking and um, looking more like your bird. So, for example, this line would not be a straight line. It actually curves a little bit like that so this is just of course the beginning as a way to to approach this and here on the bottom part you can do the same 
Just see where does it start and around here. Get your wing there and a circle and that will be your wing there and your tail in the end. So like that. And then of course you can start to add all the features like the eye and the feet and stuff like that. But this was a quick way to show you that it's very, it can be super easy to approach sketching birds if you um, start out with this, the main shapes of the body and the head. So just a very quick video on how to approach bird shapes and uh, I hope you will check out my book, Ink and Wash in the Garden, where you can find a lot more watercolor birds. It's line and wash, so really wonderful. And um, that is it for today. Have a wonderful day and uh, I will see you around.